She was unique at that time and in her time, which was the 50s when it was really happening. She was unique straight through, and she became even more unique, I think, uh, because we allowed her to continue to grow. That was the most unique part. We watched her evolve. I don't think that's ever been done in quite that way on what was labeled a sitcom because there was no other word for it. I never think of MASH as a sitcom. I, well, first of all, I don't love the word, but I, I, it, it contained too much life. MASH was MASH. If there was a category, it was MASH. But we had to be put somewhere, so we were called a comedy. But there were times, as you know, if you were watching it consistently, that you would uh, cry more than you would laugh. You're asking this question coming off of a weekend that I spent in Palm Beach talking to a group of nurses and giving out awards and getting an award too. But I mean, um, I'm invited to graduating classes, to speak at graduating classes. I've done promos about nursing because you may not know it, we're in the middle of a nursing crisis. Um, when the baby boomers move on, we are all in very deep trouble. I think we're in deep trouble now. There are no caregivers out there. We don't pay them enough. We don't recognize them at all. And they're on overload, burnout, and we're going to be in very deep trouble very shortly unless people start to take hold of the problem. So I've done promos about this. So yes, I think so. As, as recently as this weekend, I was out there um, being recognized as this character. I'm the nurses call me their pinup girl, their, their calendar girl, because she made a very strong statement, not only for the profession, but for women in the military. I have been invited to Washington to, uh, when, when we broke ground for their, their monument, I was there talking them about them and what they did. And um, it's time they were recognized.